Oh yeah, baby, the one, the only Star Soldier 1 back here again with, yeah, my giddies. <laughs> Happy 2022, everybody. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> the world hasn't ended yet. You know, I tested negative for COVID <laughs> and I don't know. Yeah, I still got one job at least. <laughs> uh, and that's only on weekends. So visit my 400 market, <laughs> booth 2515 in Isville, Ontario, if you're in the neighborhood, because that's all I got left right now. <laughs> We're still in this stupid pandemic. But, you know, I still get to make videos at least, and not make much money on them, but <laughs> still, I can't complain too much because I have some awesome fans out there. One awesome dude who gave me this like years ago, you know, and I always appreciate artwork. Yeah. Especially since I, I usually never get artwork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got this from Cutouts. Awesome YouTuber. You know, he gave me this with a whole bunch of Doritos and <laughs> all that. Okay, and the cats are starting to fight now. Don't fight. Yeah, Cutouts is awesome. He usually comments on my videos, especially when nobody else comments. But that's the thing. <laughs> I don't have like a wide audience out there. I mostly do this for fun. I do have some Patreons out there, but <laughs> not a lot. But still, <laughs> if I can show off my cats and I can talk about some cool games. Here, here's some for you. <laughs> Oscar Yushi finishes first while Luke, you know, savors his food a bit more. Well, anyways, back on call, that's because He's awesome. Thanks to for you know supporting me up throughout the years, and yeah, he actually gave me this. He gave me literature. Haha. <laughs> now this is awesome. Karen Hawkins. He made. Or I should say. I hope that's a dude. I, I don't know. I should. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, this person here, Karen Hawkins, made a compromit <laughs> a compromium <laughs> or. Uh, this word here, <laughs> uh, I knew I'd screw that up. A compromedium of the Sega Master System games, Volume 1. Yeah, Volume 1, yeah, this is important because I go to the A section and I want to see all the versions of like Alex Kid out there. Alright, what are they going to rate? Alex Kid and Shinobi World. How about Alex Kid and High Tech World? Well, <laughs> they're not in the book. Nope. Just the first Alex Kid, Alex Kid Miracle World. And yeah, he gives it a very respectable, well, a very high 9 out of 10. Yeah, all these games are rated here. And I'm very surprised by the scores here, like Alien 3, 9 out of 10. <laughs> Alien Storm, 8 out of 10. Uh, you know, it's a good game, but Alien Syndrome on the Sega Master System. If you ever played the NES version of Alien Syndrome and compared to Sega Master System, I'm sorry, the NES version is just way better. Like, 8 out of 10, that's pretty high. <laughs> uh, but, I don't know, maybe there's some nostalgic goggles here because, yeah, this person does rate bad games, you know, like Back to the Future, you know, 2 and 3 here. They get fairly low scores. And yeah, they deserve it. <laughs> just a lot of material in here. And yeah, I fell in love with it, just reading all the different opinions out there. And I mostly agree with, you know, what this person has to say, uh, for the most part. <laughs> you go to like page, yeah, 21 here, and we go to Double Dragon. Now, if you saw my review on Double Dragon, I liked it. I gave it a very respectable 72 out of 100. I thought it was like way better than the NES version. Let's add all this weird shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it just didn't work. And they realized in Double Dragon 2 for the NES, okay, let's make it two players. You know, <laughs> let's make it a little bit closer to the arcade. Let's add a few more levels to it. And yeah, <laughs> it works a lot better. But yeah, back on the score here, they gave it a 4 out of 10 for Double Dragon. The what? <laughs> ah, I can't believe it. 
they were given like so many high ratings out here. Like, did Tracy got eight out of ten? Double Hawk got nine out of ten. Like, that's a nearly perfect score. And here you have a very good port, a Double Dragon here on the Sega Master System, and just gets a four. <laughs> uh, yeah, it. They go into detail why they don't like it. There's a whole bunch of flicker, and yeah, it becomes monotonous. But still, you know, you got all the moves in there. You don't have to unlock them. You get two-player support. Yeah, it flickers a lot, but at least it's there. Double Dragon on the Sega Master System, I thought was a decent port. And you compare it to some like the other ports out there, like the NES, Commodore 64, and other computer related systems, Atari 7800 and 2600, the Master System blows those away. But yeah, I digress because <laughs> there's some scores I agree with and other ones I don't, of course. Because then you go to the next page, you're still in the D section, and yeah, you see Dr. Robotnet's Mean Bee Machine, that one gets a 10 out of 10, which you know, I don't necessarily disagree with because Pio Pio, very fun. <laughs> That's a Japanese version, of course. And then you get Once I Die My Duke. That one gets an 8 out of 10. Again, not a bad shooter, but seems a little high. <laughs> and then you get to Time My Duts, another game I reviewed because uh, I hated that one. Yeah, that one didn't have the two player mode. It flickers a lot worse than Double Dragon, yet this person gives it a 7 out of 10. They liked it. The game is fucking garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. No, no. 7 out of 10, no. <laughs> I think the general consensus is to all the five people in the world that played it, yeah, you're gonna get. <laughs> Four people that absolutely hate it, and one person that likes it. <laughs> uh, so I'm one of the four people in the world, yep, <laughs> that thinks Time My Duts is a huge piece of shit. <laughs> and rightfully so. And I'm not some guy off the street that, you know, just played the game for like uh, five minutes and said this is garbage, and never played it again. No. Sadly, you're looking at the Diamond Dutch World Champion, and you guys are going after your treats again. Yes, <laughs> they should have made it on Diamond Kitties. <laughs> Would have been so much better. Okay, I'll give you guys some more treats, so you don't kill one another, or don't kill me. I know they're looking their eyes. If they don't get their food, they're gonna waste me one of these days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you got teeth. Okay, and yeah, I'll get back to my point because time my dots, awful, terrible, and that's why I wanted to get you know this person's opinion on the Alex Kids, you know the Alex Kid games because in the future I'm gonna see if I can review the other two in the series. Yeah, Alex Kid and Shinobi World and Alex Kid and High Tech World. Because I already did the first two, Alex Kid and Miracle World and Alex Kid the Lost Stars. And, <laughs> you know, I got divided opinions in the comments saying, oh yeah, I love Alex Kid and Miracle World too, but I thought you were probably too hard on Alex Kid the Lost Stars. And some people also agreed with it because a lot of people thought that Outs Kid and Miracle World was so much better than Outs Kid The Lost Stars. And <laughs> yeah, it's a crazy divide. But yeah, that's just a cool thing that Kudits gave me. You know, I've been loving the book. As you can see, <laughs> you can tell the book has been read the way it flops up and down like a duck. See, now this is a duck that I actually want to play with, not like a diamond duck. 7 out of 10? Really, dude? They're probably not going to respond to this or look at this video, but... <laughs> I like your book and everything, but you're dead wrong about Dying My Duck. It's terrible. Yep. I'm your world champion currently on Twin Galaxies for Dying My Ducks. I played the game right to the end. I pretty much finished it on my second or third try and... Well, this is garbage. Yeah, you compare that to Double Dragon? 
you know, that game took me like decades to finish. <laughs> because, you know, you get unlimited continues, but when you go to the last level, those unlimited continues stop. So you had to rely on skill. You pretty much have to get good on the hardest level in the game and they're gonna throw everything at you. Environmental damage, all the toughest enemies, you know, a gun-wielded maniac. And you gotta do that with the remaining lives you got, then it's game over. So there is a, a legitimate challenge to the game where you compare it to like Dime My Duts, you get unlimited continues throughout the entire game. And you don't even need continues because if you're good enough, you can easily 1cc the game. But still, a lot of great opinions in here. I love the boat so far. And if you can find this, I think it's a UK book actually. And that's why you got that, uh, I don't know, uh, British Incendia in there. <laughs> the POW region, you know, AG books of the UK. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you're not gonna find this, so I don't know, Goo Larry uh, Ashens. Uh, I don't know, you guys might like it. <laughs> uh, oh my game, they're not watching this. <laughs> but <laughs> thanks again, Cutouts. The book is awesome. I've been reading this a lot. Yeah, I love it. And thanks a lot, dude. You're amazing. Yeah, I rarely get anything like that in the mail. I noticed my YouTube hits have been taking kind of a beating as of late. <laughs> Where, yeah, sometimes it's hard to like get 100 hits on one video because it's tough to get the word out. You know, I got a job and everything. Sometimes I can't promote my videos the way I used to. But <laughs> maybe now that I got one last job, maybe I can do some more videos. Like, see if I can finally review these two now. And I got other Sega Master System games I want to check out. Like, these ones here, you know, I got the elusive Buster Douglas. Yeah, I want to see if I can get Jason to like punch me out again when I review Strider for a second Master System. Hey, it's not that. No fighting. You don't want Buster Douglas mad at you. This guy beat Mike Tyson. So let Buster Douglas be the example. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, and yeah, I'm going to review other Sega Master System games. And I do agree with his review of 9 out of 10 in the book here, because I love, yeah, the Sega Master System version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, in 2021, I even got the rare, yeah, you see that? Look at that sexy label on the back, that means you got the rare final North American version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Look out what he can do. Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't quite get the hits like I used to here on Star Soldier channel. You know, they just want to put PewDiePie or whatever the fuck his name is on the main page and other Let's Play channels and <laughs> just this Logan Paul bullshit. <laughs> I don't even know why those people got famous because they're not even that good at video games. <laughs> I can't complain too much, because here I got this from Dave in 2021. Got a Sonic the Hedgehog cover for my controller here. Yeah, the controller I still got the stick for. Yeah, I still love the Sega Master System. Very underrated, and I can understand why people would give high scores for certain games. There's a lot of love out there for the Sega Master System. Yeah, and it's making a comeback too, like Alex Kid. Miracle World here on the Switch. I was amazed because when you open it up, it actually has not only a keychain, yeah, but it actually has a manual and you can have like a flip cover. So it looks like a Sega Master System, the original box. Very cool. I was actually surprised because I got Metroid Dread from my brother this year because the Events War compilation was delayed, and he got me Metroid Dread, and I've been loving that game. Yeah, sadly a lot more than this one because 
This one is pretty much just a remake of the Master System version where Metroid Dread is a pretty much new version of Super Metroid and it's awesome. <laughs> and yeah, I would say Miracle World, you know, I like it and all, but it has a lot of warts. One hit death gameplay and uh, it's tough to go back to, even though I love Outskin Miracle World. It's kind of disappointing that <laughs> all they did is just update the graphics and you could switch between 8 bit mode and you know Nintendo Switch mode. And it's nice and everything and it looks good. It just plays like the same old Outskin Miracle World, so you're not getting too much new. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll give it a chance. Maybe I'll review it in the future. All that. You know, this is just an update for now. I gotta play the games more. Maybe I'll review Metroid Dread as well. Uh, just an uh, update of what's going on. Yeah, as for Sega Master System, I love it so much that, yeah, I got this in the box. But I had this one box for years. Then I saw, like, <laughs> This for sale, so not only do we have this box or a Sega Sega Scope 3D system, but I also have this. I think this is the North American model. So I have two Sega Sega video game system 3D boxes. <laughs> now this one is different because. It actually comes with a missile defense 3D cartridge, where this one has missile defense 3D built in. <laughs> oh. So that's a lot to dig in, but it go just goes to show you how big of a Sega Master System fan I am, because I have both <laughs> NTSC and PAL region Sega Master Systems, <laughs> and a full library of North American Sega Master System games. Yeah, and that stupid song, The Hedgehog, North American version, it wasn't cheap, but hey, it was so worth it. If I didn't make uh, stupid videos like that, Kyle's wouldn't even care, and I wouldn't get like this free book, so. Hey, <laughs> I don't have a lot of Patreons, but you know, the ones that do, thanks because <laughs> And still here at least. <laughs> I can still make videos. And the cats can get their more treats. Okay. I'll feed you guys again. This is just a stupid little update. Letting you all know that I'm still alive. Unfortunately, yeah, some of those crappy happened in 2021. I did like a video of Kenny vs. Spenny my top 10 favorite episodes but you can't watch that video right now because unfortunately the company that made Kenny vs. Spenny yeah so I had a top 10 list of Kenny vs. Spenny episodes unfortunately the video got taken down so and it sucks because I wanted to advertise the show to like the audience out there get the word out because they've been screaming for years they want to do like a season 7 but you know to get the word out, I wanted to make a top 10 video, and I did. I worked hard on it. You know, it was tough to narrow down my 10 favorite episodes, and they took it down. <laughs> Breakthrough Entertainment, so I don't think it was Kenny Hot or Spencer Rice themselves. It was, you know, the stupid suits, you know, that decided, hey, this person is using footage without our permission, so. We're gonna uh, block your video. I think I got 16 hits on the video and then, yeah, it got completely blocked. So, that really fucking sucks. Uh, but you can still see my air video game reviews, but no more Kenny vs. Benny talk. Although, I love to see them finally get a season 7 one these days. And I just can't talk about it right now because. You know, they're laying down the band hammer and everything, and oh, it's bullshit. And I did nothing to, like, spoil it or anything. Like, I didn't show the humiliations. I didn't show the ending or anything like that. I didn't tell who wins in the episode. No. 
I just wanted to show you why these are my favorite episodes, so no spoilers, but uh, apparently it wasn't uh, No more Candy vs. Penny, just more Sega stuff. Yeah, and that's a little update for me, and enough of my ranting and raving. If you're in a neighborhood, visit my 400 Market booth, Video Games 101, booth 2515 is a booth number, and we're open every Saturday and Sunday, 9 to 5. The one job I got left, and yeah, my kitties need to eat. I got cats! <laughs> ah, don't worry, they're gonna be well fed. Oh, this thing is like a, only two bucks. It keeps them super happy and healthy. I'll end this video now because I got nothing else to say. <laughs> Thanks again, Cutouts. You're awesome. It's amazing, cool gift. Okay, I'm thinking of teasing the cats long enough here. Okay. <laughs> and that's it for me. This is the one and only Star Soldier 1, baby. Over and out.